Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another part in Magical Darn by Hannah Carlson and we're doing the um, mushrooms here. So we did in part two this mushroom. It took me a while. Part one is the houses and the little snail and the green down here. Today we're going to do this mushroom here and we're doing it in purple tones. So I have my purple pencils here. So we have um, black grape, parma violet, and uh, this one is gray lavender. It's kind of a small pencil. <laughs> Believe it or not, I, I've even bought a, another set. Uh, so I have two sets of Prismacolors. <laughs> These pencils go so fast. It's pretty silly. So I have to um, get online and figure out if I can buy these uh, separately in like packs of 12 or something. <laughs> anyway, we're going to do this mushroom with the snail on it. I'll get you down a little closer. Basically doing it the same way we did the pink one. So we're going to start off with the... Um, black grape down here and again I'm going to do the same thing and skip over the little uh, dots or crumbles or warts on the <laughs> uh, mushroom here. I'm going to go right over them and then erase them. So I'm not going to worry about them at all. Just taking this up where the lines are, bringing those up, and then adding a few in here. Kind of keeping in mind that the mushroom goes this way, then kind of goes this way, and then goes this way. So my lines will go in the same direction. And the only thing I have to do is worry about my snail. And I haven't finished him yet. Just keep that in mind. He has got to get a pink tummy, which I should have done when I had all the pinks out yesterday, but I didn't <laughs> remember to do that. We also want to uh, make a dark area right about here because there's a divot there and it probably has a wrinkle in the mushroom cap. And there's a divot on this side too. So I we'll want to bring that down. Sorry, that's a loud car outside. right in that area. Kind of bring it down into there. Just a refresher for anybody who has not watched part one, part two, or any of my other uh, videos that I have for this particular book. It is done in three, four colors, four colors. I got to remember the fourth color. Never remember it. So we do it in the pink, the purple, the blue, and the green. And then I add in either black and white are allowed and no extra coloring because I like to shade and highlight with black and white. And uh, if I need to bring in skin tones, I bring in skin tones. If I need to bring in wood, I'll bring in wood tones. But for the most part, every page in this book has got these three, four colors on them in some form or another. Okay, we're bringing in the Parma Violet. Turn that 
turn the book a little bit so I'm not turning my wrist too much here. So we're just going to lay that right on top of it. Bring it out a little. Whoops, I'm going to touch it. And then we'll bring in the, I know you can't really see the name on that, it's Grey Lavender 1026. All these pencils will be listed in the description box below. So if you don't catch them while I'm coloring with them, you'll know which ones to pull out. Try to be a little careful around those little snail pieces. And we can leave a little extra area for a white pencil here, just so it can add in little highlights. I have to sharpen it a little bit. There we go. Okay, you can see the top of this, right? I'm going to bring the white in. Just blend that together. Kind of give it a little bit wider top. and kind of use it as a blender. And just like the pink one, I wanted to leave a little white down here. Bring it on up a little bit. I think this sheet, plastic sheet here is under all the way. Give it a little highlight on this side. I'm going to put a shadow underneath it.
Oops, get up in the back. That's okay. We can fix that. Oh, don't like bringing the eraser in there, but. There we go. Get rid of that one. Okay, and then if you want to darken up any areas, we just come back in with the black grape and darken up some of those areas again. We are also going to darken up, like we did up on top, the underside of these. And then there's one on the back. <laughs> I was wondering where it was. Okay, we're going to bring in a little black. And we're going to go just at the tip here and darken that area up. Just where it's connecting to the mushroom. And then if you want, you can bring in just down at the tip of here. Where the lines come up a little bit of the black. Just to darken that up. And put it over the black grape and darken just a light coat over that in some areas where you want it just a little darker. Like here in the snail too, we'll add a little bit of that. While I'm here and I have the pencils out on my desk, I'm going to do the belly of that little snail here, so I'm going to sharpen that point on the uh, pale, whoops, didn't mean to move the page. Well, this is the pink rose. So we're going to add it in all over. It's the lightest one of the pinks that I'm using. Okay, and then we're going to bring in a little bit of, hmm, where are all my pencils? Here we go. This is the clay rose. Just a little darker there. And a little of the black raspberry, very lightly. And there we go. Just got a little pink on there. Makes them a little cuter. <clears throat> okay, now I'm here on the bottom half of the mushroom, same way as we did before. That's black. <laughs> That'd make an interesting color, wouldn't it? Well, black grape. We're just going to darken some of these areas here. Pull it up a little bit. Parma violet. Bring it up a little higher. And then the green lavender. And white. Okay, 
on the bottom of the mushroom. Gonna go in with the black grape down at the bottom here. Parma Violet. And then the great lavender. back over it with the black grape where you want it darker especially down here and then we'll bring in the black like we did on the other one and just go over it gently and darken the parts that are the farthest down here to ground the mushroom. go over it with a little white just to make the center of this mushroom brighter can add a little more gray lavender right there Like the other one, we will go in and remove the um, whatever you call these things, <laughs> the bumps. fun doing <laughs> especially when the darker areas If you don't have one of these and you have one of these kind of erasers, it'll do the same thing. It just takes a little longer for you to 
run your hand on it and I don't have the energy to do that with that wrist of mine so we just use the power tools <laughs> they're fun <laughs> See if there's one in there. I made that really dark. I think there's one there. If there's not, I just made one there. <laughs> it may not be as exciting when you're doing the lighter ones, but it, it'll still show up, so you have to do that. And that just dresses the little guy up a lot. Okay. Now we have a whole bunch of little mushrooms around here. And if you notice, if I pull this up, that the picture has got blue down in this area. And, well, also gray. And the green is all below here. So what we want to do to make it a cohesive page is to bring some of the blue up here or some of the green but we want to kind of interject some of this pink down here and some of the purple over on this side so i've decided that the pink is going to go in this area here and bring that down so we're just going to go over this with the black raspberry here Do that on both sides. Darken it down here at the bottom and then just lightly bring it up. And then we'll throw in the, I'm just going to go straight in because it's a small area with the um, pink rose. So we'll go over that. Pull it up. Just touch it up here with the raspberry, black raspberry. Just very, very lightly go over that. And if you want to get it really dark here, you just bring the black in. And go over those lines a little bit. Okay, so that brings the pink down into this area. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to um, do a purple door. We'll do a purple door as soon as I find a dark purple. There we go. So we'll bring in the 
black grape. Okay, bring in the Parma Violet. And then the Great Lavender. Darken up the bottom of the door back in here with the black grape. And then we will take the black and make this line better. We can do those in purple. I'm just going to turn the book sideways. Sorry. <laughs> so we're going to go in with the black grape over here on the side. And then over on this side. And back over on this side. Parma Violet. Great Lavender. Then we'll go back in with the Black Grape. Yeah, a tiny, tiny bit of white. There we go. Oh, I hope my head wasn't in on that. I'm so sorry. I need to bring that back down, don't I? <laughs> there. Okay, so we've brought the purple over and we brought the pink down. Now the pink is also going to go in some of these flowers down here. So we want to be a little more... Um, cautious of that so I don't put a whole bunch of pink up here and then a whole bunch of pink here. I want to mix them. So we're going to go in. Uh, let's see. What do we got? We've got this kind of flower and this kind of flower. This kind of flower is on the pink. So we're going to do the bigger flowers in the pink and the smaller ones in purple. Just two colors here, so we're going to use the black grape, or, or sorry, black um, raspberry. 
dark on one side here and then just feather it out very lightly. And then we're just going to bring in the um, rosy pink. And blend it right into that. Okay, darken it up again where you want it darker. And I can add a little white in there. I want to sharpen my white. Just on this side. And there we go. So we'll do, I guess there's only one other one of these, so. <laughs> We're going to do that one too. And a touch of white. Okay. We're also going to touch that up in the little dark recesses with the black. We're just going to draw those lines back in. There we go. Kind of darkens them up a little bit. Next one is going to be these little guys here, and they're going to be done in. They're going to be done in purple. So we'll just do two colors in the purple too. So the black grape. and the gray lavender. I'll just put all the black grape down. Some over here. I think our last one is over here. But if I'm missing one, yell at me. <laughs> I probably am. I always do. And then the gray lavender. <laughs> and we're 
going to pop in a little white. we'll go back in with the black and just trace over the lines again Our purple flowers done. I'll probably do these rocks in shades of blue, purple, and pink. <laughs> but we're gonna skip those for a second. I'm going to get up with the little baby mushrooms. Okay, I have to have my blues. Blue, blue, indigo, and greens. Okay, we're using lime peel, moss, and um, green ochre, if I can find that. It's a little tiny pencil. Oh, please don't tell me it escaped on my desk. There we go. I said it was tiny. Okay, greens and blues. Now I want to bring some green up to the tip top of the page because it's all at the bottom and it's in the center. We want to bring it somewhere up here, over here. So this particular mushroom is going to be green. That's all there is to it. <laughs> so we're going to go in with the moss green. And these kind of look like bluebells. They're mushrooms, but I kind of color them like that, like a bluebell. So then we'll bring in the <coughs> excuse me lime green, brighten everything up here. And then shade in with some green ochre. Plastic sheet would be nice if it was up here. Okay, and then a little white down here at the bottom. go tiny bit of black right on those lines and then we have a green mushroom bringing that color up here Okay, uh, we'll do a blue one over here. I 
they're all going to be colored the same way. So the darkest of the blue. We'll do both of these at the same time. And then we'll just bring in the light. We're only going to do two colors. I think they're small enough. Sky blue light. Bring in a little bit of white here. And a tiny bit of the black to go over the lines. Excuse me. We're going to go down here on these three. We'll do probably, hmm, <laughs> it always gets me when I'm trying to do this. We can do a blue, blue, and a green, but I don't want it to look too straight up and down. So I'll probably do two greens or two blues and a I don't know. Let's see. What do I have in my hands? I have a black. That's not good. Okay, we're going to do a blue one over here. And we'll do this one blue. Green. We'll do this one blue. Okay. We're going to do, while I'm going through here, I'm going to do this one blue. Oh, I'm just going to go over those things. I'll lighten them up with the eraser. Okay. And we have one over here. We can do these in purple. No, not this one. This one has to be done in pink. We'll do those at two over there in purple. Okay, let's finish these guys up. This is just the sky blue light. to retouch up the black. This one over here too. All right. 
do we'll do do I still have the green out here somewhere <laughs> gotta have the green somewhere we're gonna do this one in green this is the moss green lime peel Green ochre, and a touch of black. And then I have to get down closer and make sure I got all those shaded correctly. Okay. Now I'll we'll bring pink into this one. This guy over here in pink. Then bring in the <laughs> pink rose. <laughs> Okay, we'll do the underside in that color too. Okay. Do we have the pale blue? And we're gonna do the underside of these in that too. It's only one that I did, okay. Then we're gonna do um, the last one in purple. So we'll do the black, purple, purple, black, purple grape. That's what it's called on this one. And then this little guy over here. Just go in with the lavender, the great lavender. To the underside. Do, do, do. Okay, on the purple ones, we're just going to go down the stem too. We're going to have to sharpen these. These are just tiny stems. And I got two of those, so Open that one too. <laughs> Here, so we'll get that done at the same time. Okay. 
And there we go. So obviously we're going to do pink stems for the pink ones, blue stems for the blue ones. I'm going to do that off camera. We do have to do these gem things. Okay. This one's going to be purple. This one's going to be pink. Yeah, I think that'll work. Okay. So we're going to take um, the a black grape and we're going to put a little corner down here where it's going to be the darkest and then just gently bring that out and then on this one we're going to go opposite way and we're going to bring it down we're going to do a little bit right here in the corner and kind of shade it out so if we went dark on this side, we want to go dark up here. This is just the simplest way I know how to do these. But I didn't want to do a hundred of them. <laughs> okay, so we can go because they're not touching. Dark on this one. dark up on this corner okay then we're just going to take in the gray lavender and blend it out a little go in with the white and I guess I had some blue on that <laughs> oh well it adds a little color in right like that and we will be adding a little Posca in there probably to brighten up the um, black lines. Let's see if I can do that. Probably take two coats. Okay, so we'll do that to them. These ones down here will be done in the pink. We're just doing them the same way. Pick your point that you want dark and then go from there. Just do them opposite. white boom okay what I did was went ahead and did all the little stems including the ones up here at the top way up here on the top there you go <laughs> just did it with the same color it dark blue and the light. This one's just done with the green. 
Okay, so I'm going to finish just the little, like a, a big rock and then a couple of these little tiny rocks. And then I'm going to call it. Um, I'm going to put splatter on this, but you've seen me do that before. If you need to um, see me do it again, I could always probably link a video. But we're going to do these uh, rocks here in the blue. This bit and this bit are going to be done in black. So we're just going to bring down on one half of this the blue, bring it over a little bit very lightly, and just go in with the sky blue light and bring that color over. And kind of go over it just to blend it. Okay, so we'll have the blue rocks done like that, and then we'll bring in the pen and do these. I have to be able to see what I'm doing, so I'm going to deaden down a little bit in black. Kind of like the same thing we did on the houses to bring that color over here. So it's scalloping. Like I said, you could do this with paint, you could do this with anything if you don't have these kind of markers. You can um, do it with gel pens anything. So that's what they're going to look like, okay? The teeny tiny rocks are going to be done in pink, just to bring down some pink. And I'll do like one in the black raspberry and the pink, just to bring that color over. Some just in the pink and some just in um, the clay rose. So just kind of mix them in between. The little ones are way little to try to shadow or shade into, but the bigger ones you can always add two colors to. And that is how I'm going to finish those off. At the end of the video, I will show you what the um, finished page looks like. So I hope you enjoyed. I had a lot of fun doing this page, and I will see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Oh, these stems, same thing as we did on the mushroom. So if it's a purple flower, bring down a purple stem. Pink flower, pink stem. You get it, right? <laughs> Okay, like I said, I'll just finish those little guys up. The windows are just going to get a little tiny bit of uh, soft gray in them. Where's my grays? I thought I had one out. Well, since I don't, I will grab one. They're warm grays. So I have a warm gray 10%. I'm just going to go inside the window. I kind of like the white, so I'm just going to leave those white. I'm going to go over them with a white pencil bit. Okay, and then when I um, just put a little shine in here, glass shine type thing. I don't like that one. I may have to fix that. <laughs> there we go. Get it while it's wet. Okay, so there'll be shines in all the windows, and every single window will be done this way. Let's see. This might get a little shadow down here, but it's going to remain white. I wonder if that was supposed to be purple. If this is going to be purple, it'll be purple, but there you go. A little bit of Posca on these guys, too, so we'll just put some on there and pull it down. Maybe some stickles will go in there also. So, splattered it, and it will be uh, at the end of the video. Only other thing is we're going to make these show up a little bit more by erasing those out too, so. Oh, like you could see that. Nope, you couldn't. 
Okay, I'll show you again. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, we're gonna lighten these little dots up. So we'll just go around and do that on all of those mushrooms so they'll have light little caps on them too. Okay, so that'll be it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Like I said, at the end of the video, I will leave a picture of, or yeah, a picture of the completed page, so you can see the splattering and any other little tidbits I throw in. And these rocks will be done. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Take care, everyone. Bye now.